I guess so when Dot asked me to come and speak, I uh, said to her, how long are you going to give me? And she said, 10 minutes. So I wrote down what I thought I should say and uh, timed myself, and it's all of three minutes long. <laughs> what, um, I'm sure you've all heard about my dark past of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I didn't rock and roll that much. Eh? <laughs> what I want to speak about is not, it, obviously it all started that glorious day when God spoke to me and said, I am within you. How can you contaminate me with drugs and change my entire life completely? I started that day. We often, God often speaks to each and every one of us, whether it be in the words of a song, in a chance remark from a friend, a flower growing in trash. God speaks to us all the time. There was a time when I was evicted <laughs> from where I was living and not having any support system except God. I, I didn't know what to do. I was, I was panicking, crying out to God constantly. And um, he filled my mind and my heart so with the, his voice, his word that says, trust in the Lord your God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. This is something that carried me through and God is a, is, is a God of his word. I have a place to live where I pay a fraction of the rental that I paid previously. I don't go hungry, and God is just so good all the time. There was another time when somebody said to me, um, I'm arrogant. I was blissfully walking along in, in, in my confidence that I'm a child of God. And yet this person who teaches people to pray and uh, he teaches people about the Bible. He came to me and said, I'm arrogant and he dislikes me. So this kind of knocked me. It really did. I thought, I can't understand how, how this man could say this to me. And it took my focus off Jesus and put it on myself. And the more I focused on myself, the more I felt I was falling apart. A very wise pastor said to me, don't listen to what people say. Live according to God's promises. For every problem I have, I seek God's promise. I speak that over my life. And God hears. Who am I that he must hear me and, and be mindful of me? But he does. He hears each one of us. And you speak his promises over your life. You, you live those promises. We are, we, we are so intricately linked to God. God knew us before time began. He knit us together in our mother's wombs. We are linked to God whether we know it or not. And if we live that link, there is nothing. We have his peace. We have his constant love in our lives. And we have his promises to live according to. That is my message. Surrender it all to Jesus and it definitely counts for joy. Thank you.